What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Um, God, I still can't. I still can't believe that, man. I would. I mean, God. I. I think when I, when I think of like the three hardest bosses in Elden Ring, um, I think Millennia. Uh, I think Malakath, and I think Godfrey, and and <laughs> beating beating Godfrey. And getting a piece of string. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know what, though? It is it is the perfect representation of the absolute garbage RNG we have had in this run. Like it doesn't get it doesn't get any more embarrassing than that. It really doesn't. Oh man. This does look good with that. And we're still at a medium load. I need different color legs, though. I could probably rock the Hoslo. Oh, yeah. We're looking good. Uh, all knowing still work, but no, Cuckoo Knight? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we'll rock that. Anyway. What what can you do though, right? Oh, I just remembered. I never uh oh, whatever. I say I never never grabbed the uh the thing that I would have gotten after I killed that gargoyle. Where uh typically there's like America uh America Scar Seal. I mean it was probably nothing anyway. The game has I really wish the range on this was just, just slightly better. Here again, and I'm killing you. Better stay hiding. Make me waste my damn time. Once we're coming up on the respect, though, I should. I mean, I don't know. I don't really. Oh, the Tenna. Stormhawk axe. Tenna's nice. Well, no. I think I'm just fond of her, but she's really not that good in the scheme of things. Uh, will there still be a boulder? Yes, there will. Ooh, Night Maiden Sorceress. Now that, that's actually... That's really good. Um, what's the mana cost on them? You are 1178. You're only 960. I like them a lot. I like them more than Nefeli. I need to level them up from the be useful. Right now, the only one I can use is Angable. If I give this a little bit longer, whatever is up there is probably just gonna die. Yeah, let's see what they've replaced Moongrum with. Errant Sorcerer Wilhelm. You know how to dodge this. Dodge this, you filthy casual. Parries. Go kill the boulder. Um. Oh, 
Ooh, what's this? Axe of Godric. Every day, the game tests me more and more to switch to strength. Yeah, I think we're gonna get our respect though. And then I think we're gonna do a, uh, a thorough run of, of Kaled. I don't, I don't know. On one hand, it's like, I, I feel like I should just push towards the end. Kinda how we were. Um, oh God. so much. Alright, head down. No more of that. One room. Let's go get the shortcut unlocked. Sort of stuff over here um but yeah i mean it's just like let me go back to the notes here so looking at through the notes not, well i guess there's not a ton in caleb but that somber stone miner's bell bearing and dragon barrow that's actually like i could i could really benefit from getting that and then there's the memory stones and caleb like how much I need the memory stones. I don't think there's anything else really in Kayla that I need. Um, or better yet, let me just, I'm just going to use control F and search the word Kaled. Let's see. So there is the memory stone in Kaled, the drawing room key, and that's it. And if we're looking at Dragon Barrow, let's see, Dragon Barrow. Um, oh, am I not, am I spelling it wrong? Let me see. All right, Memory Stone. Somber, so it's just the memory of the somber stone, okay. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I would like, I would like the upgrade potential. At the same time, it's like I'm kind of, kind of doing okay, just being stuff with, with this, but. What I really need is just some dumb luck finding the uh wow the range on that is actually kind of poor um i need i don't know i really want a dark moon great sword It's kind of interesting that those aren't, um, they're not location swapped at all. I dropped. Alright. 
we are ready to go fight whatever has replaced Renala. Mm, 58,000. We are... I want to... Let me... I'm going to make this my, my final... Final test of Frostfire. Because like, on one hand, I really, I really like the idea of like... You know... Uh, the idea of just building up, building up uh, frost on a target and then detonating it with the fire damage from magma, but it's like, I don't know. I don't. I feel like there's not enough frost build up. Like, and we actually we did something. We did a build like this. We did a frost fire night build, and I mean with this patch it would be you know, way more viable than it was. But I don't have enough frost. I need I need constant frost application. Because we need to be able to frost and then get the proc immediately. And it has to be magma. Which means I have to have either magma spells. So I'm frostbiting and magma spells. Or, I mean, honestly, what I need, I need a weapon that has, like, an insane amount of frost buildup. Like, this is 86. I need, I need something that's in, like, I don't know, 160 frost buildup or some shit like that, you know? Kidding me? Why? Why? I can't. I'm not even walking in. I'm not. I'm not even doing it. Not with this many souls. Uh, what a fucking game, man. Oh, oh, to get this is fucking. I can't. I can't. I just got done talking about. The the boss, what I consider like the three hardest bosses, and one of them is barring my way to Renala. What's waiting at Renala? One of the other fucking three. It's, 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 it's I can't even like it's. Uh, I got I got nothing to say, man. It's just it's. Uh, oh my god. Just absolute. It's a fucking clown show out here. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Alright, well, that used up most of my runes. That's nice. Um, uh, oh, yeah, let's go. Uh, I killed a magma worm, so there's new stuff available. Maybe that's good. Mm, nothing of value. Okay. Um, how else can I spend money? Are you the one I didn't finish? Oh, you know what? There's some really basic merchants. I didn't even think to talk to, like, Faith Man. Oh, welcome to hey, watch, he has sorcery. Watch, he has the sorcery spells. Yeah, well, come on, show me your spells. Okay, you know, he actually has all incantations, but damn, my dude's sitting on Stone of Garonk, Placid Dusax, Giant's Flame Take Thee, Death Lightning, like, holy shit. May the golden order shine. Just, fuck. Ridiculous, man. Just, just absolutely loaded. I want to spend all my runes before I even even go and mess with Malakath. I can't believe Malakath, man. Of all the things, and I don't have the thing to parry his ass, so... God, what am I going to do here? Two as I got plenty of. Selling quest line. Screw it. That's a good, it's a good buy. Um, oh, I don't even remember that was there. 
Uh, what else can I spend money on? Not that it really matters. I'm literally just trying to spend every rune that I have. There's another one here. So I want to, let me just go back to, um, cause I just want to do a damage test real fast. Oh no, you're magically enhanced. You're going to be a poor test. Um, you may remember we picked up the Latena fortune a while ago. Haven't really used it at all, but I'm kind of curious what this will do. Okay, inventory. Projectile damage and range. Add magic damage to arrows. Medium sized bow, which I have. Hold the arrow stationary to charge, greatly increasing damage and range. Decreased health, decreased casting damage, reduce stamina while running, sprinting, and jumping. Consume more. that the buff let me let me pull from like a regular arrow here so uh just out of curiosity 339 oh shit all right that could actually be wild I think you have to stand still, though. Yeah, so it charges and levels. The first charge does almost nothing. Second charge is significant. Third charge is more significant. That's actually pretty cool. Um, I would need... I would need to change the scaling on it to really pull advantage of magic, but that could be potentially... I don't know, I think I'd want a better bow than just longbow, but... Longbow... Put on, like, Beast Roar... Knight... More deck scaling than what it has... Magic is A- minus and slowly recovers FP... It's barely though. Also some frost build up. So it's doing two ninety one, three oh nine, three seventeen. I think the frost damage to offset that would make it worth it. You know what? Screw it. I'd, I'd have less health, but like, I'm curious. I'm genuinely like, could this be good? Let me uh, craft up some arrows. Item crafting, arrows, uh. Rot coated tip, storm oil arrow, um. Great bow. I mean, poison. Fletched is gonna be stronger. I need flight pinions. Uh, I have like no flight pinions, almost. Stormhawk feather. Yeah, we need to go like hunt some birds. 
Oh no wait, no. One one pinion gets you thirty. Okay. Bloody extract. Bloody extract. I saw a bird that flew away a second ago. Didn't work out that well. Probably gonna run out of arrows, but I'll, I'll try. You know why not? If I can get if I can get Malakath to. This is, this is not what I had planned on doing with this build, but... I mean, we were hitting 1,000 damage shots with, like, garbage arrows. I wonder what this would hit with, like, actual good arrows. And then if I was to... To put on, uh, you know, stuff to make it even better. Who knows? I mean, this this has... I think there's there's potential here. I think this could be good. I would want a better bow. The, the pulley bow would probably be a solid choice. I got 2,000 runes. I got nothing to lose. The, the, my big concern with this is the, the standstill. So it is only three levels. <sighs> this is gonna be fucking rough. Oh, yep. Yep. Our charge shot did that? Oh, bro. Can I just, like, hide? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hide. I don't wanna fight you. I'm barely I mean still at four hundred that's good. It's like playing hide and seek with fucking Malika. Is he stuck? Oh my god, I'm actually gonna beat it. You can't move.
be very careful here. His health pool was Vanilla appropriate. His damage was way higher. Damn. I can't believe that actually worked. Oh, wait. This is a two-phase boss fight. What's about to happen? Valiant Gargoyle, Queen of the Full Moon. Bro, please no. Please no, not like this. Oh man, I'm fucked. I am fucked. That explains why the health was fine. not going to work. Um. Shit. to think what I want to do here. So after seeing Malaketh's health, I think this is actually doable. I think the the bow charge thing, as funny as that was, is not the play. I think I'm going back to Spell Sword. Get my health back. Let me see exactly... I wish I could have used that item to pick a, a fortune that's like perfect for me. Spell Sword is already boosting my carry and sorceries, mind dex, int. Decrease arcane, decrease attack power of unboosted melee and spell, and non flask health regen. Okay. We're gonna try and frost fire Malaketh. I need to get through. Phase one of that fight before I summon, because the he, Malaketh just absolutely cooked Engvil. Uh, if I can make it up to the Gargoyle, I think I actually have a chance. But I need to have Engvil out for the Gargoyle. I mean, honestly, I really, I like... On a conceptual level, I really, really like the idea of the, the Frostfire setup. But... From the perspective of being a spell sword, I don't think it works that well. Because I have to, unless I am, unless I am like hard casting freezing mist, I could try it. I'll try it. I don't. I don't think that. I don't think the dual blade approach works that well. As much as I'd like it to, I think I'd have to hard cast freezing mist and then get in and smack with magma, and then freezing mist and get in and smack with magma, and. Uh, you know, that's that's the, how I'd have to play this, I'm pretty sure. Okay, could you could you come closer?
<laughs> so weird. Yeah, it just that's it's not enough. Cause even there I did did a quarter of a south pool, no frostbite proc. So that's not gonna be able to work. Let's try let's try the same thing, but we're gonna try freezing mist and magma sword. Right now the goal is to figure out what I wanna do for a respec. Cause I like the idea of frost. And I think the reason I'm I'm so hung up on Dark Moon. Hang on a second, is my phone going crazy? Someone's at my door. Who's at my door? It's probably the person delivering the pizza. It's a long, long Saturday of recording. Yes, it is. Dope. Okay. Damn, we're only 31 minutes. Um, you know what? I know I said one episode a day, but I really don't want to let my pizza sit outside getting cold. So what we are going to do, I'm going to get back up there. Oh, you know what? What am I talking about? The power of editing. I'll be right back, and we're going to continue this after I've eaten a pizza. But, in real time, y'all won't even notice a difference, because it's all going to be edited perfectly. And that pizza was delicious. Some buffalo chicken pizza for those curious. Uh, but let's head on in. Let's, uh, we're going to try the freezing mist combination this time. You know what? Let me let me get over here. Let me get over here where he got stuck before. all So the the frost frost magma setup is causing good burst, but he's he's doing it's taken he he has high high ass frostbite resistance it seems either that or freezing mist just ain't that good. I'm gonna have to just do a pure cast. The more I'm seeing this, the 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 slow buildup of the ice and then a burst with the weapon, the more I think that's not gonna be the play. I think uh I think what we where is it at? <clears throat> it's higher, right? Than the other ones? Yeah. Um I think what would make more sense is to use a weapon that has frost, like my Morning Star or whatever else, and then when Frostbite finally procs, I hit with like a magma shot or something. I think that's going to be more consistent, because sitting back and waiting for the... Uh, frostbite to, to take effect. That's it's take it takes too long. It ruins the tempo of the fight. But if I'm just constantly 
whack, 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 constantly doing damage. And then <clears throat> once I see the frostbite, boom, a shot of lava to the face. That could be pretty good. That could that could work quite well. Okay, we are going to not get hit by your bullshit this time. Ooh, it's already up on my bum. Uh, right around here, I think, was good. Then I can probably charge that and hit. This is going not nearly as well as I would have hoped. I just realized I don't even have the, the mana that I need to summon my dude. So it's going to be a long... All I need is... I just need a clean kill on Malekith and I'm fine. I also need to get rid of like a ton of shit that's in my inventory right now. That's all throwing me off. 
I was trying to... That should have been a really fast swap there. It was not a fast swap at all. No, no, no. I think we're we're done with that. That's not going to work. No, 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 no. There we go. Okay. So, well, I think the... Like, that's what I want. I should be able to hit that and immediately swap. I need the FP on this. Loretta's Great Bow was taking some good shots. I mean, the Glint Blade Hail. If I can get clean casts off, the Glint Blade Hail will do really well here. But I'm going to have to, like... I'm going to have to basically roll in Glint Blade Hail and then get back out. I, I swear I'm sending this back down. Am I just forgetting? Maybe I just try beating it. Like, straight up hitting him, not even. Three hundred. Did about half his health. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I feel like he's... I feel like the amount of damage I take from him just doing his... His, you know... Dust and death shit. I don't know. I was I was killing him faster with melee, for sure. Like, no question about it. Melee was was putting in the business. Um, the problem. I mean, honestly, we, we've gotten past him twice now. The problem is just finding a. We need to find a the, whatever the safest way we're gonna hit him is, which I think is gonna be sorcery. I think it's gonna be sorcery, and I think it's gonna be using glint blade hail. But I think we need to drop out Ambush Shard. I think just the way Ambush Shard works, I don't think it's hitting him as much because he's jumping around like a coked up orangutan. generation. That 
that was ass. Those are the kind of hits I need. If I had uh if I had the parry tool for him, I think I could actually pull this off. Um no, you also keep what we got. Alright, I'm just gonna I'm gonna focus on just hitting him with this. I'm not gonna worry about my mana until phase two. This this one's this one's extra, like, because I've I've gotten past him twice now and into the second phase, so it's like now I'm now I'm, I'm stubborn. I'm like I know for a fact I can do this. It's just getting him into the right spot where destined death isn't obliterating majority of my health. Fuck, man! See, this is what I'm talking about scaling, though. Fights like this are what's throwing me off, because it doesn't seem like there's dynamic scaling going on. But even, let's, let's say, Elden Ring Reforged updated bosses, right? This thing should have been scaled down. I am 104. I mean, the the time that you would typically fight Renala, say around level 50, if you were extremely thorough and you were doing like all of Limgrave, the underground zones, then Renala, maybe 60. Not 100. You're not, you're not level fucking 100 at Renala. And so to see how hard this boss is just stomping me especially with what i would consider to be pretty decent stat distribution i mean we're we're 11 11 vigor away from uh the second soft cap i don't have the health debuff anymore because i've stopped using the the big hood like by all accounts we we are over leveled for what this encounter should be
that one attack too that does way too much damage. spent too much there. Okay. Go away, bro. Go away, bro. Cat's fucking howling like an idiot because he got in a fight with the other cat. And now he's upset. Baby. Ambush shard is not hitting well. We're just going for this. Oh fuck, it's the double gargoyle? I gotta kill this thing like right now. This is fucking, this is fucked. I'm slept? Engel's almost down. I gotta kill this thing before Engel dies. I need to I can't item craft in a fight. Don't I have and don't I have a bolus? I don't have anything that's gonna cure poison. Great. poisoned. No, I'm dead. And I'm slept. Yeah, I'm fucked, dude. Unless I can get like a stagger or something here. No. God, that's fucked.
Damn, I don't... <laughs> God damn it. Honestly, I am just like... I don't I don't even know what to what to really say or do. I'm just I mean I felt like this was I need something bigger. See this if I was playing strength, if I just had a big fucking Unga Bunga stick, this wouldn't be a problem. I do not have a big fucking Unga Bunga stick. Alright, let's slow it down. Let's slow it down and, and think. So Saving Angvil for phase two helped a lot. We got past the first gargoyle. We just didn't have enough gas left in the tank for the second. Um, I I need a way to cure poison. I need a way to cure poison. I need mildewy, amalgate, and noxious extract. Mildewy, amalgate. Fragrant. Mildewy. Fucking God, dude. I still can't. Why is it so hard to just to just make fucking poison boluses? I'm not asking for the world here. I think the position that we had Malaketh in in the last encounter was good. I think that's where we're gonna... If I can get him back into that same corner... I think Glintstone Pebble will be a more reliable generator. I think if I do that combined with Great Bow Shots, I think I can take him down. Um, if I can get into Phase 2 with enough, mag enough uh, magic to, to give the business, I think we can win this. I think this is where I was, just back here. And then... He was... Damn it, how is that even fucking hitting me, dude? Oh man, please stay there. This is like the perfect setup. I couldn't have asked for a better... His AI has gone brain dead, it just wants to run to me. It's like I have enough distance that the AI is saying it has to run, but it's caught. This is, wow, like I could, this is literally exactly what I wanted. It was just a, a clean ass attempt. That's amazing. And I have all of my healing. Get one of them, please. Gotta get this heal off. Fuck. Engvall's AI is literally brain dead. Got it.
Big damage, please. Not enough big damage. Oh, slept. And I'm dead, probably. Because I'm asleep. No, I managed to get out. One heavy. Come on. Oh, yes. Give me respects. Oh, double sacred tear. Holy shit. If there was ever a fight that deserved double sacred tear, it was that one. I'm pretty sure we bought the key to open this up, didn't we? Yeah, what's in here? Oh, <laughs> Tectus Medallion. Well, well, don't really need that, but... Oh, man. God, that's, that's big, though. Double Sacred Tear. And most importantly, we have Respects. We have Respects. So, we're going to wrap things up here. We will continue along tomorrow, of course, so stay tuned, and I will see you then with more.